So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to answer another frequently asked question and that question is what are your graphical settings? Now bundled into that, I'm also going to answer a question that's been asked about 50 or even more times at this point and that is how do you get rid of this? This crazy Instagram filter thing that you get on some abilities like Valky's Hysteria or most forms of invisibility. It's actually pretty simple, so let's jump right to it. If you go into options and display, you can see that I'm playing at 1080. I am playing in borderless windowed mode and I have vertical sync on auto, which locks it down to 60. Overall, I'm using the high preset, so everything is pretty much maxed out with a couple of tweaks. So first of all, to get rid of the Instagram filter, you want to turn off the color correction option. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't just remove the effect because it will make everything look far more bland. Um, it will get rid of a lot of saturation, so the colors aren't going to be as pronounced. And the contrast exposure and everything like that goes down as well, so the game is going to be far more gray. But it does get rid of the effect you get on something like Hysteria or Invisibility. So the first thing I turn off is color correction. The second thing is bloom, because this makes certain areas really uncomfortable for me and I also don't like it because it just creates these weird shiny spots when I'm recording and it's really blinding in the void and this gets rid of all the shiny spots and it makes the image far clearer. Now Bloom itself isn't actually too bad. Yes, some areas are going to be a little bit shiny like the simulacrum or the void but when combined with color correction it becomes really bad so that's why I turn both of them off. Now there is one graphical option that I turn off when I'm just playing the game but I turn it back on when I start recording and that is motion blur. Now unsurprisingly motion blur will blur the image when you move around and the reason I keep it on when I'm recording but off when I'm not is because I simply don't like motion blur but for YouTube it's pretty good. When you're playing it's pretty bad because it's just gonna blur everything and when you're running around and turning around which in Warframe you do all the time you won't be able to see anything. But for YouTube it's good because the videos have a limited bitrate so if I don't turn motion blur on and I start turning around in an intensive room that has a lot of detail on it, it will start to artifact the video. And that's not as noticeable when motion blur is on because the entire image is blurred so the artifacts don't stick out like a sore thumb, it just looks somewhat natural. So motion blur, something that I record with but something I really don't like when I'm just playing the game. And that's pretty much it for my graphical settings, I just run the high preset at 1080, 60 FPS and I turn off color correction, bloom and if I'm not recording I turn off motion blur as well. Do I tweak it every now and then? Yes, yes I do because there are some tile sets that are very demanding and are not as well optimized as the other tile sets so I may tone the graphical settings down but most of the time, like 90% of the time, this is what I run with. And even though I only turn off three things, color correction, bloom and motion blur, it drastically changes the way the game looks. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.